So Hunter just tapped into our earpieces <laughs> and asked, there goes my hair. He asked. Same with mine. I mean. <laughs> he said that you guys are calling asking if we have any Carson cities in the show tonight. The answer is yes, we have them. And even better, we have them in Min State 64 tonight. And we have two opportunities, 1883, 1884. Your choice are both NGC 64s and they're both $599.95 each. Again, the Carson City is that fabled Wild West mint, and it's just, it's been, it's been the mint ever since I think Morgan's existed. It's silver from the Comstock load, which is kind of like right down the street from where the Carson City mint is, the largest silver find in the United States. And then the Blend Allison Act passes the Morgan dollar, and then Carson City, which existed as a mint for four or five years before this find, now is only making silver dollars. Everything else, the half dimes, the dimes, the quarters, the half dollars, they stopped making them all. And the unique part is, is they have this like thumper story. 13 years, New Orleans is 26, San Francisco and Philadelphia are 28. Okay, uh, if you add up all the coins and throw them into the big hopper, 13 years of Carson Cities equals only 3%. So it was a small number in the first place. And then when you get to the actual year-by-year -year comparisons, drives it crazy. Well, they made these Carson Cities in 83 and 84 at four mints, Philadelphia, San Francisco, New Orleans, obviously Carson City. Philadelphia put out 12 million coins, 14 million coins for each year respectively. San Francisco, six and a half million, 3.2 million. New Orleans, eight million, nine million. Carson City, 1.2 million, 1.1 million. So Carson City wins the race or the competition, however you wanna look at it, for vintage figures for both of these years, 83, 84. And it's not a surprise in the entire Morgan Dollar series like Steve referenced, they only made 3% of all of the Morgans. It's a 13 year span. So the mintage figures are very, very low for each one of these. Now, the other part is the fact that the GSA, the General Service Administration sale, uh, which happened from silver being found in their vaults, right? After silver is pulled in 64 for circulation. And they auctioned them off to the public in a number of auctions in the early 70s. The fear was, wow, all these extra coins are gonna drive the market down. It did the exact opposite. It's like the state quarter program brought tons of coin collectors in. It's because people said, I can actually afford this stuff? It's actually affordable? Here is a unique twist. Knowing that there were 83 and 84 CCs in the GSA, you would expect to see population reports in 64 greater or higher to be a little bit more swung open because there are theoretically are more coins available, right? Not, not, 3%, even though over 50% of all the Carson cities that were struck in 1883 and 1884 were actually in the GSA. There's still only 3% that ended up being this nice. And here's the other angle, right? The other side of the, of the coin, which flip it, value. Our competition sells unks, coins and capsules, broken out of GSAs or they had it before the auction, irrelevant, $699. They're selling 63 grade at $1,000. We're selling 64 grades at lower than both of those tonight with the few we have left, $599.95. They're at $699 for uncirculated coins. We are five grades higher. Mint State 64s for $100 less. $599.95 each. Your choice opportunity, 8384, the Carson Cities, the coveted Carson City Mint originals in Mint State 64. Here's the conversation. Uh, I'm gonna call up the phone and call Allison and wanna buy a coin. Hey, I wanna buy that um, $1,000 63 you have. I say, great, thank you, appreciate the opportunity. How about this, I'm gonna make it better for you. I'm gonna give you a 64. <laughs> I'm gonna say, wow. Thanks for the favor. I appreciate that, that's a wonderful gesture. I get a better graded coin. I know numbers, so I know the difference between a three and a four is huge on these two coins. 
or I could just pick up the phone and talk to Hunter and the crew tonight and save myself $400 and get a four anyways. Imagine what you could do with $400. So you really weren't <laughs> being that nice. No, I'm just kidding. It's, 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 it's a three to a four is a big deal, a big deal in 82, 83, 84 cc's. That's when, the, that's when the world changes on how many are known. Again, population reports are out there, they're published, NGC, PC respectively, this being an NG coin. Love it, love it, love it. Lots of activity in the phones. If you're visiting us via avccoins.com, these last four or five products have all been blurs. The phones are so backed up right now that I don't know if it's the pre prior product of this product, et cetera, other than the fact that I got a lot of phone calls and less than that in product right now. So guys, you got to put that one minute clock up, I believe. Time for us to be moving forward. AVCcoins.com, that is the website to shop online 24 seven. And also we are stre streaming live on YouTube. So if you go to YouTube and search for collectible coins on AVC, you'll find us there. Make sure you like, subscribe and click the notification bell to always get notifications for when we're live. Streaming live anywhere Take us with you and never miss a show. 905-6555, Do you mean people actually miss shows? They better not. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? 905-5667. I'm reading my numbers backwards. 599.95 each. The Carson City Morgans from 8384. Your choice opportunity, one or the other. Both, two of one, one of the other. It's your choice. Thank you all for joining us. CC's all the way. If you love Morgans, you gotta love a CC. And this is where the world changes in CC's. From three to four, from GSA to four, is a huge difference. And tonight we're $400 under that of our competition. That's special.